Oh, I like rocks. Yeah, rocks are nice. Yeah, I like the story because it's rocks. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. It is good. So, as you can see from the cover. Your cover! That's the front of the book. As you can see from the cover, she told the story of the first Christmas using rocks. Lots of rocks. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's good. In this book, she uses rocks to tell the story. You can see there are shepherds. And one of my favorite parts in the actual story is that the shepherds hurry off to go see what the angels told them about the child, about Jesus who is born and placed in a manger. Like the cover says, rocks tell the story of Christmas. A savior is born. In order to know what this book is about, if you're not familiar with this story, we need to start with the first word, a savior. Hmm, that's the first big word on the cover. Allie, can you help me talk about a savior? Yeah, yes, mm -hmm. yeah. So, when I grow up, I want to be not a bookmaker, no. What do you want to be? I want to be a, uh, mm. you know, the person that helps when you're in the water and you're like, oh, help me. A lifeguard? Yeah, a lifeguard. I want to be a lifeguard because I can save people. Yeah. So you're saying you want to be a lifeguard? Yeah, or a savior. I can save the people when they are like, oh. Okay. Yeah, that's what I want to do when I grow up. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you for sharing, Allie. Yeah. It's important. It is a really important job. It does save people and rescue people. And this book is about Jesus, the Savior, being born. And he's not life card kind of Savior. No, not in the water. Just in the whole world. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. This book is very short. The illustrations are lovely. And they are arranged with rocks. The words are short phrases. And it points us to where to find the actual story in God's Word, the Bible. So you can take a look at that with your family and discuss it with your family. I think that's a wonderful, wonderful thing to do. And my favorite part of the Christmas story is when the shepherds see the angels and afterward, after they hear that this child's been born and he's in the city of David, which is Bethlehem, that the shepherds hurry off. So, here's what I want you to do. This is what I love to do. When you tell this story, you gotta stand up. Come on, stand up. Now we're gonna pretend we just heard the angels and they said, the Savior has been born and you're gonna find him in a manger. All right, you ready? So they hurried off. <gasps> wow, it's just like the angel said. Okay, let's do it one more time, ready? So they just heard the angel, wow, that's amazing. And first they were really afraid. And then they go and they hurry off. They leave the sheep behind. They hurried off. Wow. And they found it just as the angel told them. So I hope you enjoy reading this story with your family and then even opening up the Bible and discussing it if your family has a Bible. So... As you know, we like to pause this. We like to pause and let you actually get a copy of the book. Yeah, so get the book at the library. Yeah, that's where I found it the first time was at the library. Yeah, and then you got a copy. Yeah, yeah, I did because it was so good. Oh yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so grab a copy of the book. Whoosh, Read it with your family and then talk about it. And if you need some discussion questions, we're here to help. And you can pause us and then come back, all right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Pause. All right. I hope you enjoyed reading this story. 
And here are some discussion questions. Oh yeah! Ah! The horse on this! The first one is, what is your favorite part about Christmas? Oh yeah! Mm-hmm. Yeah! That's good! Oh, what about you in the back? Yeah? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The next question is, who was it that told Mary she was going to have a baby? The next question is, why did Jesus come to earth? And the last question is, what will you create with rocks? What story will you tell using rocks? Oh yeah, that's fun. It is fun. I almost forgot to ask you, would you like to see the rock art I made? I went outside today actually. So earlier this week I wanted to do this video, but I didn't have enough rocks. And the snow finally melted and I went out on a walk and I found a, more rocks so we could complete a picture. Oh good! Yeah! That's good! So we'll take a look at that in a moment. Yeah! Can I make one too? That's a close up. Her book, Patty Rokas, invites us to make our own rock art. So here's mine. What will you make? In this story, the there are short phrases that talk about what's happening. It might say glory to God, or it might say Lamb of God. And we know the Savior is born. That's referring to the birth of Jesus. Another name for Jesus is the light. He's the light. Like on the tree! Not like on the tree. No, not like on the tree. Oh, not like on the tree! I like the... The lights on the tree. They go. <laughs> okay, you can like the lights. Yeah, I do. Um, but that's not what it means when we say that Jesus is the light. Okay. It's more like when it's pitch black outside and suddenly the morning sun is coming. Oh yeah, that is glorious. Woo, love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, we hope you enjoy checking out this book at the library or wherever you can get a copy of it. I think you and your family are going to enjoy it. And hopefully you can also make some rock art. I would love to see some of yours too. And the author, Patty Ruckus, you can check out her website and she and her YouTube channel. She actually shows herself making some of the images like from this book. I hope you enjoy it. You're a star. Keep reading with purpose. Thanks. Bye. Allie, say goodbye. Oh, bye. See you next time. See you next time. Bye.